Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, I love you guys, happy Saturday, hope you guys are well and safe. Uh, let's get right into your messages, so when I was getting into this energy for you guys, I feel this beautiful energy of confidence, alright, I feel this energy of fearlessness, I feel this energy of of knowing who you are, knowing that you have a royal bloodline, knowing that you have a purpose and a mission, and you guys are set on a new journey, and you're not letting anything stop you or hold you back, all right? Getting into this confident energy is amazing. So there goes, the on the top of the deck, goes the chariot and the upright, all right? So this is, this is where you guys are headed, moving forward on a new journey to a new path, maybe moving to a new home, relocating, all right, doing something that your heart is telling you to do, doing something that your guides are leading you to do is going to bring you a major blessing here. It's going to bring you, like I said, a major blessing. I'm just pulling off the top of the deck after I shuffled this deck, the three of cups and the chariot. So you're going to, you're making a move and, and your next move is your best move, Aries. All right. So uh, get into this energy of confidence, getting into this energy of decision making, getting into this determined, determined energy is not, nothing's going to stop you or slow you down. You have the three of cups here. Okay. So with the message that I got here, I'm going to continue to pull these cards. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. That's the song that I was channeling for this reading by DMX. And I, I kind of like that song. So uh, I went to listen to it. It's like flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Oh my, let's get down like what? Okay, so flesh of my flesh. Then I heard the golden flame keeper. You guys are the golden flame keeper. You have sacred knowledge. You carry sacred knowledge. You're the golden flame keeper. Okay, so your ancestors passed on the golden flame to you guys. All right, so that in this lifetime... You would activate your Akashic records. You would remember who you are. You would remember that you have a purpose and a mission on this earth, okay? To raise the vibration and the frequency of the earth, of the energy surrounding you and anybody who comes into your energy. So I feel like anybody who comes into your energy, automatically you trigger something in these people. And these people don't even realize that they're you're triggering something with inside of them. Like it's like a spark of energy that you trigger inside of people. And once they uh, are around you and they come around you, it's like you're unforgettable. You have this unforgettable energy. I heard that song too, Unforgettable. Um, who sings that? Uh, I forgot his name. French Montana sings that. Okay, so somebody could be French or somebody's name is Frenchy or somebody has French nails. Okay, but... Yeah, that's the song too. Unforgettable. You're unforgettable. But what I'm really getting in this reading is that you guys are uh, starting to go back into your roots. You guys are starting to figure out your lineage, your bloodline. All right. And this is amazing energy because it has activated. You have activated some sort of gifts inside of you that were dormant. Okay. So yeah, you guys have activated a gift inside of you that was dormant. You guys activated your psychic powers, your healing abilities. You ha you guys are having a lot of vivid dreams because you activated certain gifts that were dormant inside of you. All right. When you started doing the research, when you started to go, uh, somebody's getting money because my hand keeps itching. All right. So that could be significant here. Your hands could be itching out of nowhere. Then you get some money. Okay. But flesh of my flesh and blood of my blood, your ancestors are standing up for you. They're going into battle for you. They're surrounding you right now because you are flesh of their flesh and blood of their blood. You have this royal bloodline. You are the golden flame keeper. You carry sacred knowledge. And that's why some of you guys feel like your life is like a movie. The things that have been happening in your lives, the events, the situations playing out around you, you feel like this is like unreal. A lot of you guys can see past illusions. You guys can be having a lot of visions. Your light is too powerful and they can't get close enough to you. So I'm picking up on hunters, like a group of hunters that can't keep up with you. These people have been hunting you, all right, spying on you, tracking your whereabouts, listening to your conversations, trying to intercept your mail, trying to block you, stop you, trap you, put you in some sort of cage and silence you, all right, because of your gifts, because you're breaking 
the I feel like you guys are breaking the illusions of the matrix for other people. You're bringing the truth to other people, all right? So the devil could be very angry right now with you guys because you're uh, breaking the illusion for other people's lives just by being around them. You cause a spark, an awakening in other people when you come around. Also, karmics with dark entities and energies are very triggered by you. They start to shape shift around you. They start to act weird around you or they start to, you know, try to trigger you. They feel competitive. They feel annoyed. They feel some type of way just when you walk up in the room. People want to dim your light, Aries, so don't allow this to happen. There's people that want to make you feel like, who do you think you are? Like, you can't do that. You can't do this. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have these gifts. Somebody doubted your gifts. Somebody clowned your gifts. Somebody doubted your gifts. Somebody thought it was funny when you gave them a message or you told them about the gifts that you have, the, the, the things that you're able to do with these abilities you have. They thought it was a game until now, now they see you doing something that they never thought you could do. Now they see you rising up to success. Or now they see you building up your confidence. Now they see you making moves, taking action on your decisions that you're making. All right? You could have told somebody you were saving up for a car. Or you were saving up for a house. Or you were about to make a big move. And they thought it was funny. They laughed at you because they didn't actually think that your mind was right. They didn't think that you were actually focused. They thought they were actually distracting you and they were winning until suddenly you come out the woodwork with a new car, with some good news, with some accomplishments. It is what it is. You're the flame keeper. Your light is too powerful. They can't get close enough. So these people can't keep up. These hunters can't keep up. The entity that they're attached to, there's an entity that they're attached to, whoever you're dealing with, all right? Whether this is family members, coworkers, people in your community, lovers or fake friends your light is too powerful and when they come around you their demon gets weak when you're too close so they can only try to mess with you from far away which is pretty sad all right you guys are having major activations and you guys are about to create something to improve people's lives you could be creating a product you could be creating a health regimen you could be creating some higher frequency uh sounds or music you're creating artwork you're creating something that's going to improve people's lives with good energy okay so you're gonna create a masterpiece i feel like you're in the process of creating something you're in this empress emperor energy right now you're about to create something here so uh be very focused and don't let any distractions block you from creating what you need to create there's a gemini libra aquarius that's stuck outside of your energy you put your guard up to this person because you figured out that this person was kind of snaky or this person was kind of um deceitful in your energy or they was kind of jealous or triggered by something just by your energy alone this person was triggered or this this person was working up against you and you guys knew about it so you took back your energy, you moved forward with the chariot, you made a decision, you made a move, and guess what? The Ace of Wands, this is beautiful energy here. The Ace of Wands is very confident energy. This is a very powerful energy that brings in an unexpected change in your environment, in your situation with your money, with your love life, with your connections, with your, um, you know, your living situation, whatever you're dealing with right now, with mastering yourself and, and bringing something new into play. The Ace of Wands is here. All right, somebody's very attracted to you guys. Somebody's very impressed by your work or somebody's just very um, determined um, to work with you or you guys are just very determined, all right, for success. Yeah, somebody, like I said, this could be a family member, ex-lover or somebody you once cared about, you cared for. This person is, is left outside your energy for a reason. They betrayed you one too many times. They showed their colors to you one too many times. And when you had this last awakening, it was real. You saw this person shapeshift in front of you. You got messages from spirit about this person. You're good. You're not uh, mingling or entangling yourself or involving yourself with this person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Okay? Yeah, it's over with. This is a new, brand new season that you're in. You're about to birth something new or you have. 
all right? And there's no one that's slowing you down, not even a Leo, okay? Because there's a Leo that thought they could slow you down, or there's a Leo that wants to come in towards you now, and they want to work with you now, or they want to uh, build with you, or this is you with Leo energy. You could have heavy Leo placements in your chart. You, you gain the strength. You gain the strength to uh, be more confident, to uh, secure your bag, or to protect your energy, okay? You're not falling for the same tricks, you're not falling for somebody's sympathy spells. You're not falling for somebody's confusion spells. All right? You're activated. All right? Your ab abilities are activated higher than before. So your energy vibration is higher than before. They can't get close enough to you, my loves. You're not accepting this fake offer from this cup, uh, but this page of cups. This is your younger energy. This is a, a, a immature energy giving you all this fake compliments or fake love. You picked up on this person and you don't want nothing to do with it because you already knew they was planning to set you up, betray you, take you somewhere, invite you somewhere. Or they have tried, but they couldn't get you down because the Eight of Swords is in reverse. Hmm. You're the flame keeper. You're immortal. You cannot be taken out. You have a divine purpose. All right? You have crowned yourself with knowledge, wisdom, and the truth. You have tapped in with yourself. You're ascending. I heard Ricky, Rachel, Richard, Reynaldo, Denise, Irene, or Aisha. All right, my loves. Well, this is the Six of Pentacles, and somebody feels like they want to equal give and take with you now. They want a partnership with you now. They see your potential. They see your light, all right? This person decided to go within and meditate and heal because this person was unhealed in a situation that you guys were dealing with. This person was pretty unhealed, okay? So they made a, a decision based on um, their feelings. Somebody made a decision not to work with you, to, to, like, work up against you or to not believe in something that you told them or you were doing. This person knows that you're the truth or this person knows that you're the one. This person feels... Like they had a major tower moment because now they know that you got your you you could you could have whatever you like you can have whatever you like you can have whatever you like drinks on not drone on ice you can have whatever you like somebody likes to drink Patron all right somebody likes to drink um, moonshine that's what I heard moonshine somebody prepares moonshine or there's gonna be a celebration and you guys are gonna be drinking toasting it up. Toast to the good life. Yeah, you're going to be toasting it up because you have the Six of Pentacles. Something goes in your favor. Something comes in, in for you. And you guys manifested this. You guys are in the al uh, alchemist energy, master magician energy. Nothing slowing you down. Yeah, you guys could be dancing out of nowhere. You guys just could be feeling excited out of nowhere, like overjoyed. You just could be in this mood of like just dancing. You're feeling yourself. You're feeling good. You're, you're, you know, you're, you have music playing and you're dancing. When you guys are dancing, you guys are uh, raising your vibration. For somebody watching, maybe you make TikTok videos where you do dance skits or whatever. Maybe somebody you know does this or this is what you're getting into. Dancing raises your vibration. Dancing is a form of raising your vibration. The ancestors used to dance. The Indian tribes used to dance around the fire. They used to do dances for their ancestors as a way of warding off any bad energies and bringing in their blessings and, you know, being grateful and that our ancestors already knew that by dancing, all right, with certain frequencies and sounds, you can raise your vibration. You can ward off bad energy. Okay, somebody here, maybe you like to listen to music when you're in the shower and you're in your vibe. That's actually a spiritual bath you're taking. Your vibration is being raised in the shower while you're in there singing with music. That's specific for somebody. Okay, security. You have security. You will have all the security you need. Your ancestors are making sure of it. All right, there's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. They want to surrender something when it comes to you. This person wants to let go of their resentment or they want to stop coming for you or they want to align themselves. Because this person was wearing a false mask. They act like they didn't like you or they, they was convinced that you was this dark person. They was convinced of, they, they misjudged you or they was convinced that you were doing something to them in their life when something was going on in their life. But it wasn't you because you don't get into that sort of stuff. This person thought you were using your gifts to harm them or to block them. So they started to send energy your way. They were highly mistaken. 
Mm. This person wants to surrender now. Surrender something. Make peace with you. This person is standing still. They're no longer trying to do this. All right? Because this person went into hermit mode or went into isolation or solitude to reflect. Somebody's going to come out of the woodwork. All of a sudden, this person stopped messing with you. Somebody that was heavily targeting you or messing with you, all of a sudden, they just stop. And like It's like the crickets. All of a sudden, there's silence. You don't hear anything. It's like, hmm. It's like, yeah, the calm before the storm. That's what I heard. This person feels like they're about to go through a major storm in their life. So they're like standing still. They see that you just keep leveling up. They can't do this anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be open with you. Openness. And they see you receiving these blessings. You could be receiving these blessings and this person's going to be open with you. Wow. Yeah, this person is going to confess how, you know, they misjudged you or how they were wrong. All right. And you just need to be a little bit flexible because this person is going to catch you by surprise. Flexibility is here. You're not going to be expecting this apology coming from this person because they were very stubborn and they were doing this. Uh, they were holding on to resentment or bitterness for a long time. And this person finally is going to put it to rest. They're finally going to get the point that you're unforgettable. That you're the flame keeper or you hold the golden flame and you're un indestructible and you're immortal and you're protected and you're, you are working with the divine. Somebody wants to surrender a vendetta or something that they had going on when it comes to you. Wow. So yeah, your energy is humbling people. Your ancestors protection is letting them know it's warning them. Give it up. All right. Give it up. Like I just heard spirit say. If you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Wow. So some of you guys could work in the kitchen or you cook a lot. Or uh, it's hot in the kitchen. Or somebody can't stand the heat when they come around you. So they got to get out. They got to leave. They got to get away. They got to leave real quick. If somebody's ancestors could have said this. One of your ancestors could have said this. Or this is something you guys said before. Or you say this a lot. If you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. All right. They cannot stand the heat. And it can't be in your kitchen. Somebody was trying to do some kitchen kitchen magic on you. And they realized that every time they try to do this kitchen magic, it backfired onto them. And they ended up becoming sick or vomiting or something like that or whatever. I just heard can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So now they're going to... These people are real. This person are people. I feel like this is more than one person, guys. To be honest with you, this is a group of people. More than one person, at least two or three people, are realizing that they never stopped loving you. That you were the uh, the diamond in their eye, okay? That you always br brought them joy or that you always made them feel good about themselves or that they always had a good laugh with you. That you are always a loving person. They're realizing that they just uh, were going off of their emotions. They were just going through some sort of... Uh, dark time when it comes to you or like they were being fueled by their ego or a dark entity that wanted them to come for you somebody had an out-of-body experience somebody could have had an out-of-body experience and heard or saw an entity talking to them and they got spooked out this entity was telling them what are you doing go get this go get the aries this person's like no i'm not doing this anymore somebody had a full-on conversation with this entity a whole argument broke out because this person is going to surrender something now this person could be going to church this person could be seeking god this person knows they need to do something they need to surrender it because they were being hijacked by some sort of dark energy wow this is crazy you can get a phone call from somebody and they're telling you this like oh my god i'm going through this then you know that person was trying it they tried it with you and now they're humbled down finances all right, trying to block your finances, but there's evidence about somebody trying to block your finances, or there's evidence about somebody purposely, uh, wow, there's evidence about somebody being a dark empath that was purposely going around teaming people up to work against you, sending them to your business to leave you bad reviews, or this person was jealous, there's evidence of this person doing something in your energy, or using your information, or trolling you online, a uh, brother figures here. Yeah, secret enemies are being defeated, feeling defeated right now. They are defeated. Yeah, and if you were dealing with somebody that was cheating, you found out and walked away, or you're about to find out if somebody, if you're still with this person, but I feel like a lot of you guys, you're over it, all right? Somebody, you know, yeah, they were sent into your life to betray you. 
to cheat on you, to lie to you, to bring you down in this low vibration, all right? So that, that was this person's contract in your life in the first place. Somebody's a cheater, they're always going to be a cheater, or this person can't stop cheating because they have a sex addiction. Yeah, lying and games. This person was lying and games. Could have been locking themselves in the bathroom on the phone, watching some weird videos or taking pictures, paying females online for naked pictures. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but somebody, there's a masculine or a feminine, could be male or female, that is like very low vibrational. All right, they have some weird sexual desires. And this person needs, isn't, you know, you need to get away from this person. This person is, you know, trying to transfer some dark energy onto you. All right, maybe you guys were dealing with somebody like that and you got away from this weirdo. Yeah, that, that was a whole weirdo. All right, family business is getting exposed. Yeah, they're all exposed, but you're getting good news. And they're having a major tower because they know you're getting good news. Justice in court with a judge. Okay, toxic mother exposed here. Knows these neighbors what are going to all have to watch you, my love. Celebrating good time because they couldn't get away with scamming you. Under judgment, brother, sister, mother, sibling, father, fake friends in the community. Mm, workplace people, yeah, this is all going down because you are the flame keeper, my loves, okay? Yeah, they realize that, so keep going and keep growing. And let me know if you're interested in crown chakra protection spray for your crown chakra for protection. You guys already know. You guys can go on my timeline and see the feedback from people that have already purchased this protection spray. Ever since I've been using my crown chakra spray, I've been getting so many downloads my intuition is increased. My third eye and energy isn't blocked. I don't feel confused or foggy. I've been more motivated. I've been energy. My energy has been good through the roof. All right. So if anybody has been sending me anything, I don't even know it because I'm good. I'm, I don't feel anything. So yeah, just for that being said, this is how you guys could be feeling. All right, my loves. If you need a personal, reach out to me. My email's down below. I love you guys. If you guys are interested in Crown Chakra, if you send me a payment and you didn't send me your address, please send me your address. I need your address in order to send it to you. Please send me your complete shipping address information. If I put the address wrong in my computer, then it's going to be delivered to the wrong address or it won't accept the address and I won't be able to create the label. All right, so thank you, my loves, for your love and support. Like I said, if you need a personal, my email is down below. If you're interested in Crown Chakra, email me. I love you guys. Thank you for your love, support, and donations. I love you guys. You mean the most. Till the next time, namaste.